This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. Hi, my name is Dana. I'm from Ohio. I haven't called in for a while, so I thought I'd try again. Um, I just have a couple quick fire experiences that uh, I want to talk about. Um, One of my first experiences was with uh, apparently my doppelganger. I, um, my parents and I live in the country. My sister uh, was there too, obviously. Um, But one thing that we would do was we had such a large house and a large home, like property and everything. We invite people over. Um, And uh, at one point in time, my cousins came over for the summer and they're only a few years older than me. Um, And my one cousin, Jay, she stayed in the room directly across from mine. Now this is upstairs. It's two level house. Um, and it's an older house. Part of the house was built like a hundred years ago. And then about, let's say 50 years ago, the second half of the house was built. So the upstairs is part of the original house. So rewind. Um, my cousin Jay was staying in the bedroom across from mine and, uh, we went to bed and, um, when we got up in the morning, my cousin was really angry for some reason at me and she wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't look at me. And I'm like, I'm, I'm probably about 10 or 11 at this point in time. I was an angry little child. And so I was like, what is wrong with you? Uh, and it's been a couple of days. And she was like, you keep coming into my room and waking me up. And I'm like, I'm, not doing anything of the sort. She's like, then what other curly haired girl is doing it? And she and I got into a big argument over it and uh, didn't know what happened. Um, after that, the, the only other thing she mentioned was she was in a green like night dress and it had like ruffles around the neck or something like that. And I had a green dress, but it had no ruffles on it. It was just a green, like linen dress, right? So that's my first story. The second story, when we first moved into the same house, um, I was very young. I was in kindergarten. uh, And my mom every night would come upstairs and check on me because I was having a hard time acclimating to the new house. Um, And at the time, my sister would leave her door open. We don't have central air in that house or anything, so it was to help air circulate when it was cold or when it was hot. So every night, my mom would come up, she'd check on me, and my sister would say goodnight. And the one night, my mom came upstairs, according to my sister. My sister said goodnight as she walked into my bedroom and my mom didn't respond. So my sister said good night a little louder and still she didn't respond. And my sister was paying attention to the door and looking out in the hallway the entire time. And so she got up, she went into my bedroom to possibly see my mom there, but my mom wasn't there. It was, my sister swears up and down that my mom walked into my bedroom to check on me, but uh, she was dead asleep downstairs in her bedroom with my dad. So there was no way she could have come upstairs and check on me. Um, a, uh, a couple smaller ones. Um, my sister has a pretty long room. It's like a really, it's like a long rectangle. She has a queen bed at one end and she has, like a dresser and a TV at the other end. 
there's probably about a five foot gap in between her TV and her dresser. She had a candle that was in a like wine glass from her prom that sat on top of her TV. And the one day my sister came in and watched that candle go from the top of her TV to her bed. I kid you not. My sister does not lie. She's not an exaggerated person. She's pretty serious, all things considered. I'm the goofy Uber of the bunch. And when she told me that, I was like, no way. And after that, she started having a couple more experiences, like her closets would open. You know, the, the typical kind of like, oh, we're here type of thing. So every night before she went to bed, she would like, open up her door, turn on the light and go, okay, everybody, I'm going to bed. You need to leave me alone. That's one story of my sister. The next story is with me and my mom. And I like to call it the frisky ghost. Uh, And (laughs) my mom and I are cleaning in separate rooms, but the rooms are directly next to each other. I'm in the kitchen. She's in the office. Um, In the kitchen, there is a table that was attached to the wall so it only had two legs on it, but it was, it was only about a foot in width, but about three feet long. I had a pair of glasses, sat in the middle of that table up against the wall. And while I was cleaning the kitchen, I heard this like tick sound. And then I heard my mom go, woo. And when I turned around, I saw these glasses that were by the wall in the table, just gently and perfectly set directly in the middle of the kitchen floor. I'm like, oh my God, mom. And she's like, Dan, why'd you touch my butt? And I'm like, I didn't touch your butt. What are you talking about? The mom comes in. She's like, yeah, something just came up and like touched my butt. Like it was wiping a cobweb off or something. And I'm like, I think it was the same time that these glasses were just gently set in the middle of the kitchen. So she and I laughed about it. And that was kind of like the pattern for a little bit. Um, My sister continued to see uh, people, shapes, uh, enter my room, leave my room, and uh, I would see things as I slept and as I woke up, and so I'd be wide awake and I'd see things, and I'd have to turn on a light to make them go away, Um, but yeah, those are the, that's the quick few stories I have. I have some more stories that I will call in later about, but theme of all of it is, uh, you know, I have a portal in my room. Apparently there's astral projection or doppelgangers at the house, Um, but it was a fun time growing up. Nothing scary happened. Well, have a good one, y'all. I love your show. I'm an EPP. I love you, Carol. I love you, Harper. Y'all are great. Keep being wonderful. This has been a grave confession from the grave talks to share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead. Call toll free 888 ghost 13. That's 888 446 7813.